Assalamu alaikum and a very warm welcome to the graduation ceremony of the graduating batch of 2020. This is your day. You must not be disheartened because it is a virtual graduation. I know this pandemic has made us do unthinkable things, but we as a nation, as humanity, have come together. I would like to extend my heartiest congratulations to all of you. You have made yourself, your nation, and our, your school proud. Thank you so much. Now let's start the official virtual graduation ceremony by the presentation and translation of the verses of the Holy Quran. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إذا جاء نصر الله والفتح ورأيت الناس يدخلون في دين الله أفواجا فسبح بحمد ربك واستغفر إنه كان توابا صدق الله العظيم In the name of Allah who is most merciful and beneficial When Allah's help come and victories attend And you see people entering into the religion of Allah is multitude then glorify with praise to your Lord and ask for his forgiveness. Indeed, he is ever accepting repentance. Thank you. Dear audience, now I would like to ask all of you to please stand in respect of our national anthem. Assalamu alaikum and a good evening to my dear students, parents and teachers. I hope students that you're all keeping well, safe, healthy as clearly, I mean, uh, it is truly a significant day today. I mean, when I look back from where in 2019, uh, when we commenced our session uh, in August 2019, so, momentous activity, lively atmosphere, life at our campuses, in our high schools, filled with air, aspirations, energy, delivery, drive, I mean from celebration and recognition to the mega and massive level of a metropolitan uh, Milo event, Metropolitan Youth Leadership Summit 
hosted at MIUC in Islamabad, followed with another Olympiad and Rhyolympics at our campuses in Lahore, Askari 11, and in DHA EME Seven Oaks campus. Another sports mega Rhyolympics event featured where thousands of youth uh, were congregated, got together, debated, discussed, promulgated, passed resolutions, discussed global issues from environmental impact to legislation, uh, governance to uh, equity uh, generation for socially deprived countries to social justice to improvement in our go governance structure to economic disparity in, in the developing and the developed part of the world. I mean, these were the some of the topics which each one of you, the, co co the committees discuss, elaborated, discuss. I mean, it was not too far ago in 2019 when we commenced our session, when I remember the time when our counselors, when our principals, coordinators, I myself, we were engaging with you for your uh, future life plans, for your provisions, for your career plans on what, what, what you envision to achieve uh, for your uh, following years, for your high schools. May that be A-levels, may that be second year of your HSSE, college level. And with that energy, with that life, with that passion, with that drive, I mean, I sort of feel nostalgic about the fact that as we were we were reaping through the dividends, through the provisions of our of our continuous engagement, our classrooms, lively atmosphere at our colleges, at our schools, counselors. We had just between 1920, we had over 100 international university representatives visiting your high schools. We had career fairs in our campuses in Lahore, in Wa, in Rawalpindi, in Islamabad, in Sialkot, all across Pan Pakistan. We had flown in delegations of the leading U.S. colleges and universities uh, with the support of our partner universities from Cyprus to Turkey to Germany to Hungary from the delegations of leading medical colleges, your placement tests, your exams. I mean, it's been a, it was, everything was just, you know, moving on in a, in a splendid, overwhelming engagement. And then what happened? Then there was this sort of a soft, explosive news on 13th of March our lives were shut down and uh, because of the overwhelming impact of pandemic in 2020 on 13th of March I mean the news to us the educational institutions uh, were the first to embrace uh, closure I mean uh, you know with the educational institutions being such a, a sensitive and an important and a strategic compound of human lives where tens of thousands of you come together every day and then we were I remember the first meeting by the government when the news came out that 13th of March it, it usually will be shut down and with no announcement of reopening and practically till this day on 3rd of July I mean it's been over 4 months March, April, May, June, July over 5 months and we still do not know when the institutions are open but let me tell you students that where there is a will there is a way on 13th of March when overwhelming news came around your teachers, your institution, your parents, your lecturers, our academic leads, everybody rushed and raced. The work and the relentless energy that has been put in an unstoppable manner and responded in an unstoppable manner by you all, uh, by the support and wisdom of your parents, by your enthusiasm, by your engagement from the lecture series to q and A, I I mean, it was a far-fetched dream. I've not seen such impactful virtual connectivity anywhere else in the world. I mean, we are in, we are in contact with um, over at least 20, 30 uh, institutions across the world over the last five months. And the amount of virtual relentless support and engagement, uh, I've seen you guys as our graduates and our students in A-levels, AS-levels, A2-levels, our college level has been exemplary. Students, I must commend your efforts. I must salute your recognition and your drive. You do not let this challenge and this obstacle of global pandemic shatter your dreams. You did not let any of your ambition get deterred because of the pandemic, because you are a true challenger. You're a true fighter. 
you're a true thinker you're a true creator as i encourage each one of you to be the job creators of 21st century not to be job seekers my students you've done proud to your nation you've done proud to your parents you've done proud to our great homeland and our country pakistan because this pakistani youth is scared up to support the cause of the inequality this pakistani youth today it marks a special day and because you did not embrace any any sacrifice of your engagement i mean as opposed to yes as opposed to our lovely and vibrant a 2000 audience jump packed graduation ceremony in various parts of in various cities of the country your ceremonies are taking place virtually but my dear students let me tell you that this virtual graduation ceremony will also be an experience of a lifetime for each, each one of us at least in my 40 years of my lifetime of experience i have never seen the, that i had never envisioned that we will be facing this pandemic we heard about it in the history books for 100 years ago when the spanish flu took over the world and 5 million people 100 years ago had lost their lives affecting over over 180 countries so this uh, global pandemic covid-19 it's a very unfortunate uh, death toll which has crossed over half a million deaths all across the world millions of people infected but the resilience and the drive of your pakistani nation you see alhamdulillah we've had very much low uh, uh, you know fatality rates and the resilience and the capability and the self righteousness and self defense mechanism needs to be brought in place hence for students i hope and pray that uh, it's been it's been a great it was a great year i mean i still remember the fact those that tremendous energy fireball of energy ideas engagement discussion marathon round of discussions opportunities counselorship sessions career placement sessions your entrepreneurial engagement sessions i mean there's so many momentous recognition as over the last one year that i mean the list goes on and on from mega conferences to global entrepreneurship week to your individual recognition ceremonies to your patients exams results to roots international schools and colleges blazing its way our graduates blazing their way into the top ranking universities in in uh, howard yale princeton oxford cambridge you name any top ranking university including the rank top ranking universities in pakistan students this day also has to come to an end where you guys will be progressing and following your virtual graduation ceremony i support your cause i as your well wisher I hope and pray that we are soon able to, and the, and the great news is coming our way for the last week, ten days. Our, uh, our pandemic numbers in Pakistan, because the smart lockdowns are are pretty much under control. They're on a declining trajectory. Let's be cautious and careful uh, till the government announces for an official opening date. And uh, it's been a great journey, uh, and I really salute and commend your uh, your spirit and your resilience. And thanks to all the hardworking teachers, uh, your parents who supported us. Uh, because of whom that we were able to relentlessly engage with each one of you and i wish you all the best for your virtual graduation ceremony uh clearly it will be a momentous day must jubilate must recognize must celebrate in a similar manner when life resumes back to normal as this is the new norm of life this is the new world order students i wish you all the best take care Ma'am Sunina, the principal of Wellington Campus. Her hard work and dedication is shown throughout the year. So let's have a look at what she has to address to the students. Dear graduates, parents, teachers, and faculty members, Assalamu alaikum and good afternoon. It's great pleasure to welcome you all at virtual graduation ceremony of High School of Murs International Schools and Colleges Wellington Campus, Islamabad. This year. we are celebrating our graduation ceremony virtually due to challenging situation of pandemic we strongly believe that by following the sops devised by the state and adopting the precautionary measures we will see you in the campus very soon i want to congratulate all of you at this special day 
is a day of celebration for all that is good about our students, teachers, parents, and the whole school community. While putting on this graduation gown to celebrate your success today, I was recalling your participation in academic and extracurricular activities throughout the session 2020. I was missing the giggles and critters of early year students, the creativity and love of primary students, the resilience and confidence of IGCSE, and competition and discipline of SSC section leadership, accomplishment, and participation of A-levels and IB students. I'm excited for the parents of graduates and thankful for your willingness and trust for, your, for choosing Woods International School for your child's education. There is no doubt that you are worthy members of RIS family. I want to acknowledge the superheroes of Roos International Schools. Yes, our teachers. Their hard work, their effort, and their presence during this challenging time of COVID-19. They are the protectors of education and online learning process. Thank you very much. I also want the consistent support of our DQCA department under supervision of a dynamic lady, Rep. Amri Yunus, the GM Academics, Ms. Asla Kazi, Mr. Fazullah. It was not possible to complete this session without your support and efforts. There is always a lady behind, who remains behind the scene, Ma'am Shumaila Idris, who creates and gives opportunities and ideas to our students and school administration for extracurricular activities through which our students show their creativity and get a lot of opportunities to prove themselves. Thank you, Ma'am Shumaila. How I can forget my actual strength? Yes, my management team. Ma'am Saira Rasool, Ma'am Sada Afa, Ma'am Maliha Tukhar, Sir Tamur, Sir Shweb, Ma'am Ghania Salad, Ma'am Amna Yasir, and yes, our admission advisor, the vibrant Amna Kureshi. Without your support and your dynamic efforts, it was not possible for making this campus a distinctive campus among RIH family. Last but not the least, the driving force behind this success story of RIS the, with great vision and mission, our CEO, Mr. Vali Gupta. I would like to extend my heartiest thanks for your unconditional support. Dear graduates, now it is time to stretch your wings, fly high, sky is the limit. Good luck for your future endeavors. Thank you very much. Dear audience, now let's get ready for the principal of Claymore Campus, Ma'am Alia Malik, and let's see what she has to say to her students. Bismillah rahman rahim Dear high achievers, let the cap fly and celebration begin. Warmest congratulations to you on your outstanding achievement as member of the graduating class. Graduation is just a start for what's coming next. Mark beginnings as well as endings. Be happy with what you have and strive for what you want. Do not spend your day focusing on past memories and on future possibilities. Focus on your present. You must act now. You must develop a new level of thinking, an attitude which will result in more achievement and higher empowerment. The world in Pakistan needs people like you, committed to make difference. Good, better, best. Never let it rest. Till your good is better and your better is best. If you make this the motto of your life, Victory will always be yours. It is also an important day for the parents, teachers, and friends of the graduates. Thank you for interesting your children to our institution, acknowledging the efforts of our dedicated staff and for their zealous determination. I am privileged to work with such hardworking and wonderful team every day. At Roots International School, we have tried our best to enable you to take challenges confidently 
trained you to extend your learning outcomes, skilled you to acquire knowledge you would want as professional to pursue your career. I wish you everything that you so richly deserve in the years ahead. It has been an honor and privilege watching your progress and success. Remember, the only way to be truly satisfied is to do what you believe is a great work. Good luck, everyone. Roots International School is proudly serving in the private sector as a pioneer institute initiating beyond the classroom learning techniques. Keeping in mind the requirement of today's global accelerating trends and required competency, our academic curriculum has been specially designed by a set of highly qualified educations. In pursuit to keep the pace with the international standards of education, Roots International Schools has incorporated nation's best academics as the educationists in its nationwide campuses, who are appointed after effective evaluation and scrutinized screening based on standard filter processes and methods. Assalamu alaikum, this is Nimra Ishaq from the graduating batch of 2020. Over my five spectacular years at Roots International, I've transformed myself into better. I've made lifelong friends and amazing memories. My favorite ones are enjoying Harun Bhai gift fries and gossip actor. Roots, I'll miss you. I'm Laluna Ali from the IBDP graduating batch. The two years that I've spent at Roots International during my IB diploma program have been absolutely amazing and they've helped shape me into the best possible version of myself, all while making unforgettable memories and having every experience that high school student has had. Thank you, Roots. Roses are red and oceans are blue. I hope everyone out there does not have a flu. <laughs> The journey through RIS has been so great, so much so forth, I feel like holding up a raid. Equipped with skills that I acquired through debate, I can now see that ahead of me is a beautiful fate. Exposure, experience, and excellence are the virtues that glow. It is the IB that does the promising work to bestow. Whether it be Umer, Ayan, or Zaym Siraj, They've all helped me form a beautiful mirage. Or be it who or La Luna or Mana Hill, they've all encouraged me to move uphill. The RIS is illuminated with such great teachers that I often confuse them with religious preachers. Uh, when I look at my years back, I thank everyone who put me on the right track. Congratulations, my dear parents, students, teachers, uh, I think it marks a great uh, combination of two years of strenuous, hard work, continuous engagement and uh, it's a big day, today is your official, we are unyielding and unfolding Roots International Schools and Colleges virtual graduation ceremony and where our students have attained and blazed their way by securing the top distinctions and merits in International Baccalaureate Diploma Program in A-levels, uh, college placements, university placements. So, nonetheless, pandemic or no pandemic, but there's no stoppage, there's no bar on the urge and the desire to seek knowledge. And you guys, the students, have done us proud, you've done your mission proud, your teachers proud, and your institution proud. I wish you all the best. Our first category is for our marvelous students that have earned their way into the Hall of Fame. Sikandar Vizir, Mahe Naftab, Muhammad Taha, Muhammad Umar, Bande Ali, Ali Bin Akil, Kamil Bukhari, 
and Talha bin Khalid. Well done all of you. Our record breaking results have earned our students numerous distinctions in CIE, IGCSC, SSC and IBDP. First of all, let's congratulate our IBDP students whose result, whose result came on the 5th of July. They have truly made us all proud. Menahe Noor scoring 39 points. Laruna Ali Khattab scoring 37 points. Hu Rahman scoring 35 points. And Ishal Aruj scoring 34 points. Well done all of you. Now it's time for the CAIE distinctions. Omar Amin for Best Performing Award. Now I'd like to announce the names of the graduating badge of Claremont Campus IGCSC. All these students have shown us extreme determination through their immaculate academic performance. Samreen Elias, Samiullah Shabir, and Dua Jamshed. Now it's time for the Academic Excellence Awards. All these students have shown us extreme determination through their immaculate academic performance. Let's give them a round of applause. Ayan Ahmed, Basma Arif, Ishal Aruj, Hassan Murad, Hu Rahman, Laluna Ali Khatak, Minahil Noor, Muhammad Hazefa, Muhammad Zaim Siraj, and Omer Khalil. Now it is time for the A-Level Academic Excellence Awards. Harsha Imran, Sanab Al Said, Mir Daud, Muhib Khan, Muhammad Abdullah, Taimur Zulkarnain, Maryam Nasir, Farisha Sajid, Nail Hamid, Raja Feroz, and Hamad Ahmed. Well then all of you. Academic Excellence Award IGCSC. Muhammad Rawaha, Amina Mumtaz, Hamd Harun, Tehreen Faisal, Ham Shiraz, Muhammad Awam Kiani, Muhammad Ramez Ali, Sayyida Zahra Naveed, Zulal Talib, Rayan Ahmed Khan, Parsa Suhail, Azwa, Muhammad Abdullah, and Muhammad Umar. Academic Excellence Award SSC Javeria Imad, ha Hamad Tanveer, Uh, Muhammad Raza, Anita Abdullah, Azka Amna, Huzefa Irfan, Abdullah Tanvir, Momin Mirza, and Eamon Fessel. Dear audience, our list of achievements doesn't end here. I am going to illuminate you with the extraordinary achievements of our graduating class of A-Levels in IBDP 2020. Many of my college fellows apply to the top universities of USA, UK, Germany, Malaysia, Sweden, Australia, Turkey, Thailand, Italy and Canada this year and have already received record-breaking acceptances from these universities. 
It is indeed a marvel to see those receiving huge scholarships from the colleges and universities of their choice. As of today, our students have received the scholarships of more than $40 million from foreign universities. A few remarkable and genius brains have reached out. I'd be honored to mention here getting acceptances from the top universities around the world are Ali Abdul Rahman received acceptances from Bangor University, BBP University, University of Chester, Monash University, University of Birmingham. Anas Aziz received acceptances from the University of Southern Mississippi, Hawaii Pacific University, Mary Mack College. Ayan Ahmed received acceptances from University of Southern Mississippi, Utrecht University, Valparaiso University, King's College London, Augustana College, Leslie University, Middlesex University, Franklin Franklin University of Switzerland. Isha Ruz received acceptances from Gizma Business School Berlin, Valparaiso University, University of East Anglia UEA, University of Northern Iowa, University of Bristol, Middlesex University, New York University, Whitworth University, University of Aberdeen, Harriet Watt University, Colorado University, University of Arizona, Kansas State University, Franklin University, Switzerland, Lancaster University, Hofstra University, St. Louis University, Northern Iowa, Iowa University, University of Derby, the University of Southern Mississippi, University of Illinois, Me Too Cyprus, Asia Pacific University, Coventry University, Webster University. Hamad Ahmed received acceptances from Florida Institute of Technology, University of Southern Mississippi, Iowa State University, University of Arizona, Penn State University, DePaul University, Ozikin University, University of Technology, Sydney, Concordia University. Hassan Madhat Murad received acceptances from the University of Southern Mississippi, Northern Iowa State, Arizona State, Franklin University, American University, Co College, Ohio College, University of Amsterdam, and Leslie University. Mariam Nasir received acceptances from Durham University, University College London, King's College London, Hulk Business School, Manahil Noor from the University of Toronto, University of Denver, McGill University, New York University, George Washington University. Basma Are from the University of South Wales, Lancaster University, London Metropolitan University, University of Sheffield, and Hamza Farah from the University of Birmingham. Mir Taut Lagari received acceptances from the University of Southern Mississippi, University of Arizona, Concordia University, Hofstra University, Kinnipec University, DePaul University, Merrimack, Valparaiso University, Northern Iowa State, Franklin University, and Iowa State University. Tanvir Ali received acceptances from Concordia University, University of Northern Iowa, Franklin University, and the University of Southern Mississippi. Raja Piroz received acceptances from Concordia University. Suleiman Nasir Khan received acceptances from London South Bank University, Burbeck University. Sahir Shabtab received acceptances from Northern Arizona University, Florida Institute of Technology. Zaim Siraj received acceptances from University of Southern Mississippi, Valparaiso University, and Leslie University. Shayan Ahmed received it from Ithaca College, Farisha Sajid received it from Leslie University, Hajwa Abid received from Leslie University, Merrimack College, Southern New, New Hampshire University, Thomas College, Hu Rahman received it from Leslie University, Me Too Cyprus, Sayyid Hamel bin Murtaza received it from the University of Southern Mississippi and Keystone College, Sanabil Sayyid from Augustana College, DePaul University, Abdulaziz Khan from Anglia Ruskin University, Augustana College, Aberystwyth University, Isha Kazi from the Anglia Ruskin University, University of Toronto, the University of Law and Aberystwyth University, Mubina from Colorado State University, Ali Murad Chatta from Ontario Tech University, Me Too Cyprus and University of Manitoba. Now it is time for the Academic Achievement Award for Gale. All these students who their passion and determination have achieved marvelous academic results. Let's give them a round of applause. We have Taimur Zulkanay, Muhammad Abdullah, Mohib Ahmed, Hashem Imran, Mir Daud, Sanabul Said, Mariam Nasir, Farisha Sajid, Isha Kazi, Nail Hamid, Firoz Sani, Hamad Ahmed, and Ajwa Abid. Well done, all of you. Now it is time for the amazing Student Council Election Awards. Our Student Council has made us proud over the years through their, in through their keen interest in our school affairs. First of all is our head boy, Mirta. Our head girl, Mubina. Our vice head boy, Muhammad Umar. 
Vice Head Girl Ham Shiraz, and let's congratulate all of the amazing student council members this year. Thank you so much. Now it is time for the Commendable Effort Award for a -Levels. These students have shown discipline, regularity and punctuality. Let's give them a thundering round of applause. Uzair Kesar, Ali Murad Chatha, Ali Bhutto, Talha bin Khalid, Anas Aziz, Shabal Khan, Basit Ali Khan, Hamza Fezi, Shoaib Usmani, Ajwa Abid, Nimra Arshad, Mahin Tawseef, Abdul Rahman, Ahmed Javed Aban, Ali Asad, Hamza Farooq, Isha Kazi, Sana Ajmal, Ahmed Ali Saif, Tanvir Ali, Asif Kuri, Moiz Abasi, Hamail Bin Murtaza, and Miran Ali Khan. Commendable Effort Award IGCFC. Amina Mumtaz, Muhammad Saif, Faizan Ali, Aliza Ikram, Muhammad Armaghan, Sheer Shah, Zahra Naveed, Fatima Usmani, Arsila Noor, Tehreen Faisal, Rayan Ahmed, Minal Khalid, Muhammad Ahsan, Imran Lobi, Zulal Talib, Muhammad Malik, Muhammad Ayan Ahmed Bukhari, Ham Shiraz, and Barira Afzal. Well done. This is CC Yudra Ikwal Award. Commendable Effort Award SSC Mahmood Ayaz, Ahmed Ali Mirza, and Bilal Jan. Well done, guys. Let's congratulate the students which have received the Excellence in Conduct Award. All our students have demonstrated discipline and respect throughout their excellent behavior throughout the year. They are Hamza Faru, Mubina, Mariam Shahid, Taimur Zulkarnain, Faraz Ahmed, Ahmed Ali Saif, Farisha Sajid, Jamil Rahman, Ali Abdul Rahman, Basit Ali, Ahmed Abdullah, Talha Khalid, Shanu Ravais, Anmol Anwar, Aisha Sultan, Nimra Arshid, Abdullah Nasir, Shuban Zahra, Sana Ajmal, Mahin Tawseef, Muhammad Shawal, Nail Hamid, Usman Shah Jahan, Anas Aziz, Kurut Alain Haider, Sayyid Faizan Ali Rizvi, Muhib Khan, Mia Muhammad Saad, Raja Pirosani, Hamad Ahmed, Muhammad Awais Khan, Shayan Ahmed, Abdullah Nasir and Hamza Faizi. Well done all of you. Now I would like to appreciate the recipients for the Best Attendance Award, IBDP and IBCSE. Through the punctuality, they will achieve wonders. From IBDP, Isha Laruj and Laluna Ali Khatak. From IGCSC, Haris bin Hussain and Vesal Shakir. Now it is time for the Aqua Sportsman Award from IBDP and A-Level. Through their enthusiasm and the participation of sports events, they have shown extreme wonders. They are Basma Arif, Hassan Murad, Manahil Noor, Laluna Ali Khatak from IBDP, Maheen Aftab, Abdul Rahman Gil, Meer Dao, Sahar Naim, and Mubina from A-Level. Well done and congratulations all of you. Now let's appreciate the Best Debater Award. Through their eloquent speaking and extreme communication skills, they have shown us wonders. They are Muhammad Zezefa from IBDP, Hamza Faru from A-Level, and Ariba Zayef from IGCSC. Congratulations, all of you. Let's congratulate the recipients for the Zealous Participant Award from A-Level. They are Hamza Faru, Mubina, Sahar Naim, Farisha Sajid, and Ayan Jima. Well done. Now let's appreciate the recipients for the Most Immaculate Uniform Award. They have shown punctuality and regularity through their excellent behavior. They are Basma Arif, Ayan Ahmed, Isha Laruj, and Laruna Ali Khatak from IBDP, Hamza Farooq, Hamad Ahmed, Shoaib Usmani, Tala bin Khalid, and, ha and Muhammad Abdullah from A level. Now I would like to express congratulations to the Creative Artist Award recipients. They have, they have learned how to express themselves beautifully throughout the year. 
They are Isha Rajuj from IBDB, Farisha Sajid from A level, Ali Sayyid Asad Manzoor from A level, and Parsha Sohail from IGCSC. Congratulations to all of you. I joined Roots 10 years ago, and it's very hard to say a goodbye to this place. Dear audience, the time is here now. We must bid you farewell. I know goodbyes are the bitterest truth of a sweet journey, but we must say farewell to you. The years at RS have been amazing, and the memories will never fade away. We have lived through everything together, but now we must say goodbye to each other. Let's visit us again. Let's visit the favorite video for the batch of 2020. It's been a long day without you, my friend And I'll tell you all about it when I see you again We've come a long way from where we began Oh, I'll tell you all about it when I see you again When I see you you my friend and I'll tell you all about it when I see you again, I see you again. we've come a long way, yeah, a long way from where we began you know we started. oh I'll tell you all about it when I see you again tell you. when I see you you my friend we miss you Rose. you all about it when i see you again for my time at roots i've had amazing experiences with my teachers my friends itna maza aata hai hamare school mein they have the best facilities they have the best innovation and they really prepare you to be a global citizen around the world i love my friends i love my school they're the best थी तो मुझे बहुत एक अच्छा एनवायरनमेंट मिला था और हमारी टीचर्स हमारी दोस्तें थी हमारी जान है और मैं रूस को बहुत याद करूंगी थैंक यू रूस फॉर ऑल द मेमोरीज इट्स बीन अ लॉन्ग डे विदाउट यू माय फ्रेंड एंड आई टेल यू ऑल अबाउट इट व्हेन आई सी यू अगेन वी हैव कम अ लॉन्ग वे फ्रॉम वेयर वी बिगन ओह आई टेल यू Wish them all the success for their bright future. Goodbye, Goodbye and